Hey guys, my name is Blake Kitchens. This is Hound Hogs Barbecue, and today we're doing an unboxing and review of an original PKTX. All right, so we are at my friend Greg's house. He just bought a brand new PK. Uh, he's been wanting one for quite a while. And all we're gonna do today in this video is we're gonna unbox, assemble. Honestly, guys, I've never even touched a PK before. Um, I've seen them, I've been around them, but I've never actually put my hands on one. So I'm gonna give you guys kind of my initial thoughts about that. Um, but we're just gonna assemble it and then we're actually gonna do a separate video where we install the thermometer kit and show you guys how to do that. Um, and we're just gonna see what we think about this thing. So let's get to it. So we just got everything unboxed. Um, let's kind of just take an overview look of what all is in the box. So you've got your regular grates here. So you got your heavy duty, I think this is probably quarter inch um, charcoal grate for the bottom and your regular grates for the top. You got your heavy duty charcoal basket, which is an add-on, it doesn't come standard. Got your side table, which will be really good to have. Uh, a couple little things. This is a TrueTel thermometer. Um, that we're gonna install in another video, but this is a really good accessory if you're gonna ever do any kind of indirect cooking. And then obviously you got your grill grates. Now this, again, was an add-on, but I'm telling you, unless you've cooked on grill grates, you won't understand, but this is definitely worth it, especially on a PK. Then you got your bottom half, your top half, came with a free hat, um, which, nice looking little hat. Uh, we got the handle here and really just a couple other little parts. And then because this is the TX model, it's got the breakdown uh, you know, cart with it. And here's a couple of the pieces. The one thing I did notice, I mean, I know PK is a good company. I know they make good products, um, but I expected plastic wheels. These things, they are 100% solid, durable rubber. Um, so they're gonna last a good long time. And if you've got a deck or something that you're rolling it on, it shouldn't scratch it or, or mess it up or anything. Um, so now we're just gonna kind of go through, we'll make any significant notes about the install that we think you need to know. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna take very long. So we're gonna go ahead and knock it out. Right, guys so we got this thing all put together honestly it was about four to six screws in the cart um, and a couple screws to put the handle on and the nameplate but that was really about it I think it only took us probably 30 minutes taking our time uh, so let's kind of do a quick overview and and we'll let you guys know some things that we figured out that we didn't know about this thing so first off looks great it's got this nice uh, little tray over here one of the big things we didn't realize was this lid is not actually attached to anything. The way they've designed it is it actually sets down in some grooves back here. And then when you flip it up, it holds itself up. So it's a pretty cool design. It wasn't what we expected, uh, but I don't think it's gonna cause any problems. So we got the lid open, we set it up because he wants to be using his spatula with his right hand so he can lift the lid with his left. And then obviously we got your grill grates in here. And so not much to say about those other than the fact that they make really great sear marks and make really good food. Beneath that, you have your standard grill grates. Now, you have to use these grill grates with your actual grill grate brand grill grates. You can't just stick those in and they're, they're not gonna have anywhere to set. A lot of people, they take baling wire because they're only gonna use the grill grates and they actually tie them together um, that's going to be up to you and how you want to cook. 
Uh, honestly, this top grate, there's not really much to say about it. It's not very thick metal. Uh, it's pretty standard for what you would think for a cooking grate. It would probably wear out pretty quickly. Um, but like I said, we got those other grill grates for that purpose. So take this out. Here's our charcoal basket, which is probably the heaviest part of the whole thing in our charcoal grate. Now, one thing we realize is these bottom vents, they are actually, they're directly beneath it. So you probably will have a little bit of ash coming out, but it looks like they've got this thing designed where these little flanges down here are gonna catch anything, so you won't have to worry about it. But once again, it was something we weren't expecting. So the bottom is almost identical to the top. They're a little bit stiff. We took a little cooking oil, I mean like a couple drops and put it in there and it loosened them right up. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the overview of the outside. All right, so let's talk about the takedown. Uh, so this cart, if you don't really kind of look into it a whole lot, what you expect is you to kind of pick up one end, push something in and it's gonna start rolling. Uh, that's not how this actually works. This grill is meant to come off uh, before you transport it like that. So this thing works as a safety. It goes over these tabs right here to keep the grill in place while it's stationary. So that's actually pretty nice. But then in order to take it down, you can either take the top off, then the bottom off, or you can take them off both at the same time. So you tick, pick it up, take it off. And now you're going to flip your cart up. And on this side where the wheels are on the ground, lay it down and you're going to put your grill on like this. It's actually designed, it's actually designed where it's got holes right here for bungee cords to strap to, to hold it in place. And so then it's on there and you can wheel it around. Um, so it's not permanently fixed to this cart, which was not what we expected. Um, but it still seems like a good design. So before we do our final thoughts, let's go ahead and burn this thing in. Um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take some cooking oil, kind of spray the inside, spray all of our parts down, um, and then we're just gonna burn a pretty hot charcoal fire in there. Uh, some people will take wood chunks and put it in there and try to get that smoke kind of built up in there. It's really up to you. The biggest thing is you wanna burn off any dust or any you know particles or anything like that that may have come from the factory. But that's really all you do is you just start a fire in it and let it burn. So uh, we've been burning this thing for probably 20, 20 minutes or so. Um, the vents are wide open right now. Now, what you'll notice, got some good smoke rolling with some applewood in here. What you'll notice is when you put the charcoal in on a grate this size, it's actually kind of thin. And so if you're gonna do really high heat direct cooking, you might wanna in, do one section with a lot, all the coals piled up underneath it. Um, but for right now, just for burning it in, we want it pretty even. Let's see what it's running in the valleys at. Hey, it's running 585 right now in the valleys, right in the middle. So that's perfect steak cooking temp with one charcoal chimney. Um, overall, guys, when you put your hands on this thing, you can tell it's high quality. Um, it's definitely different than what I'm used to. And so what we're going to do is we're going to let Greg kind of learn his grill, play with it a little bit. In a couple weeks, we'll come back over, we'll do a cook on it, and we'll just kind of see what we think then. But right now, I think it's just high quality. It's good portability. Um, obviously it produces a lot of smoke because <laughs> it's all in my face um, but no it's it's really good so other than that guys uh, continue to check out our videos we'll be doing the thermometer install video here shortly 
And other than that, guys, go cook something new. So I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? I like I the winter time. I like winter time. Hey, why, why am I not doing this before I dump this stuff? Oh, you don't got to spray it on that part. Right? Oh, <laughs> 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 Nike! <laughs> I'm definitely putting it on.